Today we're going to give you a quick tutorial on how to connect electronics to your Hummingbird Duo board. Let's start with connecting LEDs. There are four green LED ports on the board. Each of them have a positive and negative terminal, denoted by a plus and minus sign. To connect an LED to a port, insert the LED's black wire into the minus or negative terminal. The non-black wire will be placed into the plus or positive terminal. To insert the wires, press down on the square terminal tab with the orange terminal tool from the kit. While the tab is pressed in, insert the metal end of the wire at an angle from the table. Once the metal end is in, release the pressure on the tab and give the wire a light tug to make sure it's secure. Now let's move on to tricolor LEDs. There are two tricolor LED ports also green in color. Your tricolor LED will have four wires coming off of the light. Black, red, blue, and green. To connect a tricolor LED, insert the black wire into the negative or minus terminal. The rest are plugged in by color. The red wire in the R terminal, the green wire in the G terminal, and the blue wire in the B terminal. Okay, now we can start on vibration motors. There are two vibration motor ports on the board colored in yellow. To connect a vibration motor to the Hummingbird Duo, connect one of the yellow wires into the plus terminal and the other into the negative. It does not matter which wire is connected where, just make sure they are connected to the same terminal block. Next, we'll try a standard motor. Quick note, the use of motors and servos will require a little extra power. For that, plug in the additional power supply included with the kit to your board. For now, we'll stay focused on motors and come back to servos later. Just like the vibration motors, there are two ports, but these will be marked with orange. To connect a motor, connect one of the two orange wires into the plus terminal and the other into the negative terminal. Again, just like the vibration motors, it does not matter which wire is plugged in where. Servos are next. There are four servo ports. As you have noticed, the servo ports do not use push-in ports. Instead, they use a three-pin connector. The connection should go as follows. The yellow wire matches with the pin labeled S and Y, the red wire with the pin marked positive and R, and the black wire with the pin marked negative and B. And that brings us to our last section, sensors. The four sensor ports are marked in blue. All Hummingbird Duo sensors have three wires color-coded by their function. A yellow signal wire, a red power wire, and a black ground wire. The yellow wire connects to a sensor port S terminal, the red wire to the plus terminal, and the black wire to the negative terminal. Okay, you now know how to connect electronics to your Hummingbird Duo board. To program your components to move or light up, and to view example robots and mechanisms, check out some of the other tutorial videos at our YouTube channel or on HummingbirdKit.com.